Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a quick tool um, that you may not know that you have. On your computer you have the program Pages. You may need to open up your Finder and go to your Applications in order to find Pages. But Pages is a really great program for creating graphics. So if you need to create any, uh, any uh, charts or anything like that, this is a really good program for it. And let me just show you. So I'm in Pages now. I created a new document and inside of this document I go up here to insert and inside insert I can go to chart and I can make these really cool 3D charts. So let's make a 3D pie chart and you can see that I can actually move this around and I can angle it and make it however make it look however I want. And then I can go to edit data and I can change all the information to suit what I want. Then I can go to insert, let me go find another one. Table, I want a chart. And let's check out the 3D line chart. This one's pretty cool too. So if I want to show, you know, how many refugees came in in one year versus another year, I can show the growth in numbers as well. And I can change that around and angle that. And then I'm just going to insert one more just so that you can see it. Um, chart and we will insert a, let's go with a 3D stacked column chart. Okay. And I'll scroll down a little bit. We can add that. So we'll get rid of that one. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to show you that tool so that when you're creating infographics and things like that, um, use that tool. One other thing that I want to show you is uh, when you are looking at the exemplar, let me see if I've got the exemplar open. No, I don't. Let me open that real quick. Ha. Huh. Well, I didn't. Let's get kind of get to that. So I'm going to the exemplar, sixth grade, literature, here we are. When we're looking at statistics um, and we look at this infographic right here, we can see all these people lined up. But what would you do in order to create something like that is just grab a, a blank document and you can just look for an icon. So uh, like uh, people icon. Okay, and so find something like this. And then if I just take these PNG right here and I just put one right next to another, right next to another, and paste them one next to another, then I can just create a, a long line of people. So think about creative ways that you can either use the types of graphs that are in pages um, right here or icons in order to create visual representations of numbers. Uh, once again, we want it to be a visual representation of a number, the way that this number is visually represented, and not necessarily just a number with a picture next to it. We don't want a number with a picture next to it. We want a visual representation of the data. Okay, that's all I've got for you. Thanks so much for your time.